guys, Eva here, and I am the Witch Willow Creek. Welcome to my channel, and today is a look at the week ahead. Are y'all ready for fall? Because I am ready for fall, guys. I'm annoyed already with this heat, okay? I'm just saying. Although we have kind of plenty of rain here in the south, so that's good. I mean, uh, I mean, 106, 107, 108 degrees, 108 was the highest, I think. No, I'll take it back. I think it was, yeah, 108 was the last that I saw. Although I don't keep up with the, with the heat too much, but with the weather too much, but the, I remember seeing the temperature on my thermos, on my, you know, inside the car that said 108 degrees. I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> I'm over it. I'm sure all of y'all are over it. <laughs> Just like me, so. Um, yeah, I can't wait to fall. I just can't wait. I do like fall weather. I like cold weather. If you're new to my channel, you now know that that is. Those are two of my favorite seasons. Uh, summer. I mean, summer. Summer. Yeah, summer is not in there at all. Like I can even deal with spring. Right, but summer uh, too hot for me. Okay, guys, so let's see. We're going to see what the week ahead has in store for us. I hope everybody's week was good. If not, that's okay. That's okay. We're working on it. It's life. life is, you know, it's a work in progress. That's what we do. It's not a problem. Okay. Let's just see what the week ahead has in store. What does the week ahead have in store for us, Spirit? What is it that we need to know? What is happening in the week? What are we going to look at? What are we going to look forward to? You know, all kinds of stuff. What are we dealing with in the week ahead? What are we dealing with? that we are looking at. Strength. We're starting off with strength and the devil. Temptation. Ah, what are we going to be tempted with? What is it? What is happening? That we're going to have to be really strong. We're going to have to stand firm on our feet. Ten of Cups. An offering. It's a little, no. A little more than Ten of Cups. We also got the King of Pentacles. Oh, those two came out at the same time. Somebody's going to be pulling on your heartstrings. I feel that next week you're going to have to keep your eye open because, or keep your wits about you because somebody's going to try to take advantage of you. Let's see. What else do we need to know? Somebody's gonna try to take advantage of you because they see you as the King of Pentacles. You know, they're like, you know, they, they see that you got it all. They think they got that you, or they feel that you got it all together, and you do. You probably do have it all together, but that doesn't mean that you know you're gonna give it away, right? You always got these people in your life that when something good happens to you. They're, they start flooding around you and they're, they're, you know, they start hanging around you like, like gnats, you know, and they're like, you know, how about me? Are you going to give me some of that? You know, they want to take from you. They don't want to work for it. 
And anytime that you come into some good fortune, they're right there with their hand out. And that's what's happening. Somebody wants something from you. And they're going to try to manipulate you. And paint this rosy picture for you to cave in to give them what they want. Ace of Pentacles, yeah. Ace of Pentacles. So, yeah, I mean, you have this whole week where you're going to have to deal with, you you know, you're going to have to toughen yourself up, okay? You're going to have to toughen yourself up. You, you're very, um, you're one of those people that likes to help, right? You like to help people. You, you, you wear your heart on your sleeve, right? And they know that. These people know that, and they want to take they want to take advantage of you. Because I do feel like you've got something new coming in, that and it's and that's what they want. They want whatever it is that you're going to come. That's going to fall into your lap soon. It's going to fall into your lap, and they're they're like, mm, how about me? How about handing some of that over to me? No, they didn't work for it. It didn't happen to them. It happened to you. It's okay to say no. You already know. Y'all come to my channel. I already tell y'all. It's okay to say no. You don't always have to say yes to people. Sorry, guys. My alarm went off. It seems to always go uh, it go off right in the middle when I'm getting told I need to do a reading. So let me hurry up and do this. Uh, you know what? Let me come back to this. Okay, we're back. I swear. I get interrupted all the time. Anywho, guys. Like I said, it's okay to say no. That's where I was, right? It's okay to say no. You don't always have to get people. Or don't you don't even have to feel guilty. You don't have no reason to feel guilty for the good fortune that comes your way. Because that's meant for you. Your ancestors have it there for you. It's for you to do you know to help you out right they're doing things behind the you know behind the scenes to help you get ahead and do what you you what needs to be done that does not mean that you necessarily have to share it with everybody you know it's okay to be a little selfish An oracle. That's the one. Feast, slow down and celebrate yourself. Like I said, it's okay to say no. It's okay to be a little bit selfish. You don't have to please everybody. What happens what your what happens to you, what your good fortune is, when you get something that lands on your lap that's meant for you, that's okay for you to be selfish with it. It's yours. If you come into a little bit of money, that doesn't mean you have to give it away to everybody else. You need that yourself as well. Like it says here, celebrate, you know, celebrate yourself, slow down. Don't be so quick to give it away. Now let's get an affirmation. Why can't I shuffle this today? Affirmation. 
If you guys like this deck, the link is always down below in my channel, in my in my um, in my box. In the down bar, just go in there and it's either in my about or if not, it's it's always it's, but it's always in every video on the bottom. So, anywho. Let's get an affirmation for the week. Maybe an affirmation for the week. So it's something that I am a dreamer. I think we all are. I think we all have this tendency to dream big, and there's nothing wrong with that. You have people who like to tell you that you have your, your head in the in the clouds, which is something that I'm always told. I'm always, I'm always told that I always have my head in the clouds and stuff. But you know what? If I didn't have my head in the clouds, I wouldn't be writing a book. If I didn't have my head in the clouds, I wouldn't um, be at peace with myself because I'd be too busy worrying about other people, you know, other people's shit. Like, I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, it's okay to dream. Dream big. There's nothing wrong with dreaming big. And follow your dreams. It's never too late to follow your dreams. And you may think that, oh, you know what? I'm too young to do this or I'm too old to do this. No, no, you're not. You can do it. I keep hearing temptation all the time. Not much. Just since I started this reading, the temptation is the word that's been coming at me. So just remember, you're going to be tempted by people trying to, and like I said, they're trying to get, you know, take advantage of you. Keep your wits about you. Like I said, don't give everything away. Slow down. Like it says here, slow down, celebrate yourself. Don't worry about others. It's okay to take care of yourself. Let's, well, let me put this a little closer because you might want to screenshot that. That'll keep you going for the rest of the week. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.